I'm Wendy Goldberg. I'm the executive director of the Tri-Faith Initiative. Today's day 15, just listening. As the old adage goes, it takes two to tango. Like a dance, a conversation also takes two people, a speaker and a listener. The art of conversation lies in listening. It makes us feel good when others pay attention to what we have to say. If people read what we post, forward our emails, or gather to listen as we tell a joke at a party, it makes us feel smart or popular. Beyond that, listening to someone is a loving gift. By listening, we show that we care about them, that they're important, and that they have something to say. However, to listen to someone can cause problems as well. Sometimes what's being said is not worthy of an audience. And then the act of listening enables the speaker to say what ought not be said. Therefore, we have to be careful listeners as much as we have to be careful speakers. What did I do wrong? I was just standing there. Think about what it feels like to be on a phone call with a person who's clearly multitasking, watching TV or paying attention to something else. You might experience long pauses or irrelevant comments or a lack of interest in what you're saying. So you find some excuse to get off the phone and hang up. When no one's listening to you, the conversation ends. Even as a little nod or a smile of encouragement can make us embellish, repeat ourselves, or say more than we might have said otherwise. The listener has such a powerful impact on what is being said, more than you might realize. If no one's listening, there would be no Lashon Hara. The Torah forbids us to listen to Lashon Hara just like it forbids us to say it.